Hey everyone, this is a video on how to make sugar wax for hair removal. If you'd rather purchase sugar wax, I like Persian cold wax because their ingredients are pretty clean. Sucrose is sugar, aqua is water, and citric acid is citric acid, which is commonly used in bath bombs. I started making my own because it's much less expensive, especially when you look at the amount. They've gone from 400 grams or 14 ounces to 8 ounces using the same size container, while still charging about $15 Canadian. As a comparison, at the time I created this video, you can get 2 kilograms of sugar for $3 and you only need 2 cups. A bag of lemons for $4 when you only need one medium sized one to get a quarter cup of juice and a whole friggin' pack of water for just $3, even though A, you won't even use a full bottle, and B, you're probably gonna use tap water, which is even cheaper. Here's the comparison. Ours adds up to about $10 plus tax, where you'd probably already have all the ingredients. The Persian wax is about $15 plus tax. Ours makes vast quantities of wax, and theirs only gives you eight ounces. So let's do it. Here are the tools that you'll need. A small pot, a digital thermometer, a fine strainer, containers to put your wax in, and popsicle sticks and cotton strips for when you're applying the wax. You're gonna need two cups of sugar, a quarter cup of lemon juice, and a quarter cup of water. Measure your sugar into the pot. Through a fine strainer, pour your lemon juice into the sugar, straining out all the pulp and seeds. Add water. I pour it through the strainer as well just so I can get more of the lemon juice. Cook over medium to low heat, stirring to dissolve the sugar. Temperature is super important in this recipe, where if you go too low, it won't be sticky enough to remove your hair, and if you go too high, the sugar will burn. So keep track of the heat with your thermometer. We're looking to bring the temperature to a steady 250 degree Fahrenheit, and your wax is clear and amber in color. Here you can see that the liquid is clearing up. If the temperature is still fluctuating, wait a little bit longer. Pay lots of attention when it's approaching 250 degree Fahrenheit because it burns quickly. Once it's steady at 250, remove the heat and pour into your containers to cool. Wait at least a day before using, because the longer it sits, the thicker it'll be. This is how you're going to use the sugar wax. Let's say this is your thigh and leg. You're going to have a whole bunch of hair growing in one direction. Use a popsicle stick to apply the sugar wax in the direction of hair growth, from roots to tips. Once you have a thin layer, place a cotton strip over it, smooth it out the same direction we've been going. Then tear off the strip the opposite direction, against hair growth. Continue this way until you've removed all your unwanted hair. Careful not to wax the same area over again because that will irritate your skin. You'll be left with smooth legs and cotton strips with hair and sugar which you can wash off and reuse the next time. If you tried this out, please let me know how it went in the comments below. And as always, remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. See you next Thursday!